When Metalrust arrived in May 2017, MPI thought that they would attempt to eradicate it, as they generally do with biosecurity pathogens and insects and things as they arrive. However, over time it got a foothold in, in multiple regions and eventually it became clear that it wasn't going to be possible to eradicate it. The main thing that you notice with metal rust is the bright yellow powdery spores and they can coat the underneath side of leaves and stems. What they leave behind them is very often the dieback of the plant's growing tips like these ones here on this plant where it's completely killed off all the new growth on the plant and it's just left dead sticks basically. People were really worried in New Zealand about myrtle rust because of the damage it had been doing overseas where it had spread to. When it got to Hawaii, it caused severe damage to the Metrosideros species there, which is very similar to our Pahutukawa. And in Australia, it's had some pretty devastating effect on some of their species. The, the myrtle rust process model is a mathematical model that uses weather information, particularly temperature and humidity, to predict days on which myrtle rust is able to infect susceptible host plants. And it puts out a, a daily index, which gives it a relative suitability for infection. And by running that model with weather data from all over New Zealand, we've been able to define which parts of New Zealand are most at risk at different times of year, and which parts uh, it's unlikely to develop in. And basically it comes out that it's biggest risk in the north of the North Island, where it's warmest under warmer temperatures and the risk decreases going southwards and going at higher altitudes. In terms of the, the management of myrtle rust, there's in many ways not that many things can be done. We can't spray the whole of New Zealand with fungicides, for example, to control it, and there are effective fungicides. But by having the weather risk information, it allows us to do things like timing the pruning of plants at a time of year when there won't be too much new shoot growth occurring so that the, the rust has nothing to infect because myrtle rust does only infect new shoot growth. So in New Zealand at the moment, it's not looking too bad for most myrtle species. The, the monica certainly looks like it's uh, got good field resistance. The ramarama and rohutu, we know that they're in a dire situation. They're very susceptible in the field as they were in the screening tests. And the rohutukawa and other metrosideros species seem to have a level of field resistance which seems to be holding up quite well. This particular Pahutakawa plant was inoculated uh, in the field in, in summer 2019. It produced the yellow spores and um, quite um, substantial metal rust symptoms, but they subsequently died out in this plant and it didn't propagate itself. Uh, in the spring of 2019, which we've just been through, a few spots appeared on some of the leaves with a lot of these purpley coloured spotting and it hasn't really spread from there, so it looks as though this particular Pohutakawa has got a very high level of resistance to metal rust. So the best time to prune something like a susceptible lily pilly hedge would be in the late autumn, so that the temperatures are getting too cold for metal rust infection, but the plant can still grow, and so therefore it can put some new shoot growth on without being infected. The worst time to prune is, is in the uh, early spring, when the temperatures are rising, the metal rust spores are building up, and the new shoot growth is going like mad, so timing things like pruning can, can be a help.